All right, with all the talk about the college football playoffs, the yeah. four teams, one versus four, two versus three, you know us. We're we, gonna we, always, we're, we can always bring that we down. we got to tie it into high school yeah. sports somehow. Yeah. So we're putting together our dream matchups, and now what we're doing here is from our composite rankings, yeah. taking several different polls, we came up with these four teams. So this is how it would go down if it happened today. Number one would be Bishop Gorman from Las Vegas, Nevada, and they would play the number four team, Colquitt County out of Georgia. So this would be a Nevada versus Georgia matchup, a big school in Bishop Gorman, a big school in Colquitt County. Now Colquitt County still has to win a state title this weekend coming up, and they still need to win to even have a chance but if it was going down today, they are currently number four. Now the two verse three seed, this would be a doozy, De La Salle against Allen. De La Salle out of California, Allen out of Texas. There's always that, what state's better, Texas or California? You can't get really two better teams representing each state. So we're going to bring in Steve Spiewag, National Football Editor. Steve, what do you think of these matchups? How do you think they would go down? And I know you probably got your, the chills just even thinking about these kind of matchups. Both of these games would be really fun, Steve. I think Colquitt County is a team that probably has not gotten the level of recognition nationally that it deserves. We're looking at potentially an undefeated Class 6A state champion. This is a really, really good football team. Their quarterback... Chase Parrish has thrown for nearly 2,700 yards while the running back Saeem King is approaching 2,000 yards on the ground. And their defense just swarms teams. In 14 games, they've racked up 38 and a half sacks and 112 hurries. So this is a defense that is highly disruptive. So Bishop Gorman's offense would definitely encounter some challenges taking on Colquitt County's defense. But I think Bishop Gorman would have the edge based on the playmaking ability of their quarterback, Tate Martell. He is so talented and he is so good when that pocket collapses, he could run for a first down, he could scramble, wait for an open man. He, I think, would be the X factor along with his talented targets that would give Bishop Gorman the edge. Now, in the other game, I think would be even more intriguing, De La Salle versus Allen. It would probably be one of the biggest high school football games of all time. You're talking about De La Salle, probably the country's most well-known high school football team taking on a program like Allen, which is in the midst of a, of a run of dominance in the state of Texas that rivals any dynasty and powerhouse in Texas state history. But De La Salle has played the likes of Burns and Servite in addition to their in-state and NorCal schedule. But outside of that, they haven't really been tested. And last year, we saw them steamroll their schedule before losing to St. John Bosco in the Open Division Bowl game. And, and Allen, meanwhile, has already beaten the likes of Dutch Fork, another South Carolina team that actually beat Burns worse than De La Salle did. And they've also defeated Denton Geyer, DeSoto, Ulysses Trinity. I think the experience of Allen would give them the edge in this matchup, not to mention Kyler Murray would probably be the best high school quarterback that De La Salle has ever faced. So I think this would be a mammoth showdown, but I would favor Allen in this one. Can you imagine if they put that game, I know it would be advantage yeah. Allen, but at Cowboys Stadium? Oh my gosh, a filled Cowboy Stadium? A high school game. For a game. high school game. Ooh, oh, I would only dream about it. Yeah. I, I would try to go. Uh, yeah, I would go. <laughs> I would go. I'd pay to go. Yeah, 